guys, it's Heather from Cut Love Plan. I'm here today um, talking to you about monthly views in your planners. I get lots of questions about how do you use the monthly view in your planner? How is it different from your weekly view? Just lots of questions. So today I wanted to show you a few different ways that I have used my monthly view. Um, there's obviously tons of other ways that you could do this. Uh, this is just a few ways that I have used it before. And I don't keep, like I don't do my monthly spread the same every single month. I usually mix it up. So it's a little bit different each month. So the first one I'm going to share with you is just a regular monthly spread where you could just track important events that are happening that month that you don't want to forget. So like here, I marked that we had half days and a long weekend and a work day and Alabama's game and my dad was flying in and I just marked important things. I did the same thing in February where I just marked important days and I didn't write a lot on my monthly spread. It was just to mark important days. So that's option one. You don't have to do a lot to your monthly spread. But I know that some people might look at this and think, I want to do more. I want more on my spread. So I want to share some other ways that I use a monthly spread. Uh, in March, I started using it as a budget spread. So you can see here where I've marked some bills that were due and then I have this tracking over here and I really, really loved it. So I've already set up April for to be just my budget planner. I tried to have a separate budget planner, but it was just too many planners for me and it just didn't work out. So now I'm gonna be using the monthly view in my classic planner as a budget planner. It's all budget stuff and I'm really, really excited about it. So that's how, that's another way to use your monthly. And the weekly spreads are still just my regular planner spreads that don't necessarily have anything to do with a budget, but my monthly spread will be budgeting. So that is another way to use the monthly view in your planner. This was my very first memory planner, so I wanted to share how I used to use the monthly view in my memory planner. I used to take a picture that I would post on Instagram every single day, I would print it and I would fit it into these boxes so that I could just look at a month at a glance and see what pictures I posted that month on Instagram, which was kind of fun. This was uh, one of the very first Happy Planner Instagram challenges. I think it was actually the second one. So it's really fun to see how much I used to style my photos. I'm not so good at that anymore. And then here is August again. It's just a way to look back and remember what you were posting on Instagram then. Because for me to f scroll all the way to August 2016 would take forever. So it's kind of fun just to be able to look at it at a monthly glance. And I think I did that almost the whole year. You can see in November I kind of fell off the bandwagon, but December I picked it right back up. So those six months I posted a picture a day from my Instagram account. Really fun way to track what you're posting on Instagram. This here is my LuLaRoe planner. And the way I use the monthly view here is I schedule out all of our sales for the month and I write them in each box. So it's a really good way to make sure that you have a sell a day and to just look at it and know exactly what you're doing with your business. So if you are running a, a side business, that would be another good way to use your monthly view. Again, it's not decorated in any kind of way. It's just the type of sales are written on the monthly view. So that is another way to use your monthly view. This is my faith planner, and how I use my monthly view on my faith planner is I use an app on my phone called the Bible app by Life Church. And it's just called the Bible app. And if you click on more and then click on verse of the day, then there is a verse every single day that pulls up. So every morning I look up the verse of the day and then I write it in the box for my monthly view of my faith planner. And it's a great way to have a verse every single day. So I did that in January, February, and then I've done it every day in March as well. So that's another way to use your monthly view. All right, this is another memory planner that I had. This was January 2017 through July 2017. And maybe you like the idea of putting a picture every day, but you don't want to do your Instagram account. So this is just a picture a day 
of just what was happening in our life at the time. And so that's really fun to just be able to look at January as a whole and just remember what we were doing in January just by looking at the monthly page. I loved doing this. I have fallen off the bandwagon and I don't do it anymore, mainly because of the time crunch. I just don't have time for it anymore, but I loved it. It's just so fun to be able to be like, oh, look what we were doing in March of 2017 just by looking at the monthly view. You can see in April, I kind of fell off the bandwagon and in March as well. So I sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't, but it is one of my favorite ways to use the monthly view. And the way that I get these shapes is I use a punch. I have a video on my channel about how to do this, so I'll link that in the description in case you wanna check it out. Um, another thing you can do, oops, with your monthly view is in a gratitude journal or in your regular planner, you could just write one thing a day that you're grateful for. I have a planner that I used to do that in, but I couldn't find it, so I can't show it to you guys today. Uh, this is the next one. This is uh, where I used to track my YouTube videos. So maybe you have a YouTube channel and you want you don't want to have a whole social media planner, but you want to be able to plan out what videos you're going to post every day or what picture you're going to post every day. So that's another good way to just plan it out in your monthly view. So those are just a few ideas for how you can use the monthly view in your planner. If you have any other ideas, please put them in the comments below. We would love to hear your ideas. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button and happy planning.